If you use the style gallery frequently, you've probably become a bit annoyed at how it's organized. Is there any way to control what's there and in what order? Yes, there is, and I'll show you how, coming up. Hi, I'm Deborah Savader of Legal Office Guru, your resource for legal professionals using Microsoft Office. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change both the contents and the order of your styles gallery to get the styles you use the most in easy reach. Most users think that gallery is static. Not so. You can not only get your preferred styles into the gallery for easy access, you can also position your most frequently used styles into the top row, which will help you use styles even faster. The Style Gallery on the Home tab is the most convenient place from which to apply styles to your text, but it's only convenient if it contains the styles you want to see, the ones you want to use frequently, and in an order that makes them easy to find. If your Style Gallery is cluttered with styles you don't use, get rid of them. Just right-click on any style you don't want to see up there, and choose Remove from Style Gallery, and it's gone. But what if you want to add some other styles up there and move them around a bit? Click the launcher arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the Styles area of the Home tab to open the Styles pane. Then go to the bottom and click the Manage Styles button on the right. Go to the Recommended tab. This is where you can control whether styles show in the Styles Gallery and in the Styles pane, and in what order. If you set the sort order to alphabetical and uncheck Show Recommended Styles Only, you'll see all 200 plus styles. You can select any style and click either Show or Hide to either show or hide the style in both the Style Gallery and in the Recommended view of the Style pane. Unfortunately, Hide Until Used has a known bug in it as of Word 2016 and does not work as expected. Getting that setting to work correctly requires tweaking the underlying XML file and is beyond the scope of this tutorial. The numbers shown to the left of each style name control the order in which the styles appear. If two or more styles have the same number, then they're shown alphabetically within that number. You can use the Move Up and Move Down buttons to move styles up or down on the recommended list, or you can use the Assign value to assign a custom numeric value. For example, I always want my normal style to be listed first, with a couple of my custom styles, Depot Text and Block Quote, to be listed directly afterward. Then I want just a few of my heading styles visible, so I'll show some and hide others. And if you've got any styles you want to move toward the end of the list, you can use Make Last to ensure they always stay out of the way of your most frequently used styles, but are still available in the Styles Gallery. Once you change your sort order to As Recommended and check the Show Recommended Styles Only box, you can check your work before you click OK to finish. In case you haven't picked up on it by now, I'm a Styles fanatic. As I've said before, this is the underlying engine of Microsoft Word, and learning how to use this feature can open up so many efficiencies, especially for longer documents like briefs or complex contracts. And if you're in the middle of preparing a brief and you're having trouble keeping up with all the court's formatting requirements, maybe I can help. I've got a brief requirements checklist you can download free that'll help you sort through your court's various rules and get all your requirements in one place for easy reference. Just check the link above or in the description below to get your free checklist today.